Hello everyone, my name is Deki and welcome to the new LP, A Hat in Time. Now then, I am very much excited for this LP because, well, I love this game a lot. Now this game came out in October, the very, uh, the first week of October actually, um, and I didn't play it until last month, which I don't want to date the episode or anything like that, and I remember Every day I kept playing it and playing playing because I really, really loved it. But now, yeah, you, you ignore that. <laughs> Credit card for new. Yeah, Frank, I can't even speak. New game now. Okay, that was just sinking, my boys. But, oh boy, I have a, actually a lot to tell you guys. But first, I'm going to shut up real quick because the intro. Oh boy, here we go! Alrighty. Now then, I've... Oh boy. Now, I've recorded, I'm not gonna lie to you, this LP. Not the full one, but a good amount of episodes. About... This is my second time doing this? <laughs> Cause... I'll explain it in a little bit, but... My god. I'm seeing this intro again and again and it's like oh my god dude I just want to get back to where I was but I'm not gonna keep complaining cuz uh someone is knocking at our door hello sir now what the game now this game actually as the name implies had in time you collect hats in this game that have uh, different abilities the one we have the default is I believe kids hat yep kids hat which allows us to see the objective which we hold down the button we actually see where we have to go and this boyo is knocking on the door. What up, my dude? What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town. We're not even, even on the town, dude. Space. Mafia come in to collect. Wait, hold up. <laughs> he was knocking on the door. But the door's not even locked. Uh -oh, How does that make any sense? Oh, okay. Now he wants to get sucked out in the space and up. Uh. Wait, hold on. Did, did you guys see that? <laughs> hold on. Editor, go back to that moment. On the door when he broke through, it still showed the knob and also the hinges of the door. It didn't. They didn't disappear until he went back out into space. So, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, Chapter 1, Mafia Town, Act 1, welcome to Mafia Town. Oh boy, I, I'm, uh, I'm excited for this LP, even though this is my second time recording this. Now I want to explain why that happened. It's because, um, I kind of, I didn't notice this until I recorded a good amount of episodes, um, in which, was, wait, what is that? Oh, that's just a name. Uh, wait, what's oh, okay? There's a cut. I was like, why am I going so slow? <laughs> My control about to die. Hello, girl. But yeah, I set my recording to record. I don't know how, but less than like, um, what's it called? Oh, let me collect these real quick before I explain. These are vault um coupons. The vault. It will. Hold on. If you click on the vault, when I click on it, if you're on top of it, it will show you where they are. You collect all of them, you actually open the vault, which has an item. This one has, what? Oh, pawns. These, and a yarn. Yarns are used, like I mentioned before, you can, um, uh, you cut different hats. The yarn are used to make the hat, which we need two for the one, for the next one. So we need one more. 
But yeah, I set the recording to record less than 480p, which is dumb. It really is. I didn't notice until, you know, I recorded a good amount of this game. And, oh, she pushed me off. And I looked at it. I was about to record the ep I mean, not record, um, edit the episodes. I was like, wait a second. What the? What? I can't touch that? No. Okay. But yeah. The quality looked terrible, so now I'm re recording the LP. Sup? Wait. I don't think that's how it works. I mean, if someone's stalking me, I'm not gonna want to team up with them. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? What is with that weird, like yellow, like line next to her face? I don't. What is that? I guess that was like lighting or something inside the building. It's bothering me. <laughs> But yeah, um, gotta re-record this, but yeah, like I said, this game's fun, so I don't mind doing it at all. This is the fact that I recorded a lot, and I basically gotta redo all of it. But, like, again, this game's fun, you know. Now, I am playing on the PC version, um, I, I believe there is a PlayStation 4, and, it, for whole squad, dude, there's only two of us, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a squad. Whatever. Hold on, I'll come with you in a sec. I gotta get this. Boom! That's our second one, and we can make a hat, like I mentioned before. We can make the Sprit hat. What's this? Like, the name implies we can run fast. That's about it. For Sonic the Hedgehog, but... Human form, I guess. What up? Smashed right into the market's fountain, messed it up real good. When going over there, Man, she is oddly like destructive. Eye contact with the mafia, and you'll be fine. Good luck, fellow rebel. See ya. You're gonna leave us. Hold up. Wait, are you gonna leave us? She doesn't leave us. Hold up. Where, where'd she go? Wait, what? What? <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Whatever, let's get on. Stop that. I love this scene so much. <laughs> get an umbrella. Beat the crap out of him. <laughs> okay, this is one thing I've always wondered about this game ever since I first played it. How old is this kid? Because she talks like she's a baby. But if I had to guess, she's like six? But I don't I don't know. At the same time, you had the other kid with the oddly mustache. Like, oddly weird mustache. And, oh, uh, what? Okay, we were on the outside with them. We were inside. Alright. I don't know. What was I saying? I don't really remember, actually. Okay, well, whatever. I'll try to remember in a sec, but we unlocked this area, which allows us to go back to chapter one. Let's see. That. Oh, and what I mentioned before with those little gems, those are pawns. I think I might just kind of went over it, but they're used as kind of currency in this game to unlock levels and to also buy a certain thing we'll see later. Well, that's Act 3. We're gonna go to Act 2 first, before we go into there. And, I'm gonna, and probably one of my favorite parts of this game is, like, every act has these cool little, um, like, illustrations, which I can very much appreciate. I, I know the artist, um, who, do, who did these. I can't remember his name right now. I, I just remember his first one, which is Luigi. I'll probably put his name up and a link to his stuff in the description. Cause I remember I, yeah, I found him a good while ago on DeviantArt and stuff. And I really liked his stuff, but then I found out he did the stuff on here. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> Cause his stuff is like really nice and clean and looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And also, um, each hat has their own, which I didn't really explain, has their own dedicated yarn. But once you make that hat, you can use the yarn for other hats. Which, I don't know, how many, wait, how many, okay, we have one more, which is, okay, it's up there, ow, okay, get out of here. 
Hello, Mafia. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Cause hold on, let me see. One, our next hat we actually can't make yet. Cause actually, you have to get the yarn dedicated to the hat, which is this. We need. Okay, we need four. We have two now. Yeah, to unlock hats, you need to get the yarn dedicated to them. Which. I mean, it's not hard because the yarn, or as you saw, kind of like over there, has that glow with about them. Um, let me do this real quick. Boop, boop, and boom. That should unlock that. Yep. Which should just have yarn at the bottom. We're gonna get like a lot of hats <laughs> at the beginning of this. Now, I think there's only two hats to unlock the first world. Which we already did one, and we just gotta get one more. Now I'm gonna explain one thing why I love this game, because yeah, yeah, we we already done the bolt. We, we we I already explained that game. I think this one has six. Yeah, six. Um, the reason why I love this game is because this like the game told us where to go. You don't have to do that. You can just go off and do your own thing, you know. And like sometimes the game allows you to. I jumped over that fire. And also, I wonder who lives here. Oh, we got it. E, we make another hat. The Brewer hat. This allows us to make mad concoctions and make a cool explosion concoction. Which all they all this hat does is wind it up and we explode the boxes. Pretty simple. You can get um, pawns and different items from doing this. But um, but yeah, like one reason why I love this game because you can just go off and do your own thing. You know, like we could have ran over there, done the objective, got the time piece. But no, here I am just running around collecting pawns and getting hats and stuff, which I really, really love. You know, which even when I was, um, even when I first recorded this game, I wasn't, I'm still unsure on how I'm gonna really play this game because this game encourages you to explore. But at the same time, I don't really want to explore too much because... What is it? Oh, Relic. We actually got this before the game explains it. <laughs> Which, I, 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 mean, I, I got the hats before the game could explain it too. Oops. But it's cool. Um, what the Relics do, we need those for later. We need those for to get more time pieces, but I'll explain more about them when the time comes. But... But yeah, like, I'm, I'm just unsure, because, like, again, this game encourages you to, you know, explore and stuff. Get a whole bunch of items. Because, you know, once again, you're going to need this stuff for later. And, you know, there's a lot of secrets, you know? And this air, like, this entire... No, all the world, really, are huge. You know? So it's like... When I just go explore... What's this? Yeah, we already got that. Um... Let's see... I don't want to explore too far away from the objective. Well, actually, we're on the other side of the map, so never mind. Um, oh, yeah, I remember there's an achievement actually to go down one of these slides. I think it's the big one. Or it might not even matter, but... Oh, boy. Let's see. Oh, oh God. Actually, now I think about it, the achievements in, the game, in this game aren't actually very hard to do. They're pretty self-explanatory, and I haven't gotten all of them yet, but I kind of do plan on getting all of them, because, again, I love this game a lot. Like, oh, wait, wrong, wrong one. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I forgot that is actually the sprint one. Not, not the sprint, um, the dive, I guess? I don't know. Oh, god dang it. Alright, get out of here. Oh. Hey, stop beating the man up! Oh, oh, okay, yep, let me explain this real quick. Um, you have two, well, actually, three forms of attacking this game. Well, wait, can you attack these guys? What's this one? Okay, yeah, you can. But either way, um, when you attack enemies, if you spam the same, um, the same attack, they will get smart, <laughs> and you can't hit them that attack anymore. What you have to do is change it up by, you know, you can jump on them or do this. When you double jump near an enemy and you press X, you can do a weird Sonic the Hedgehog. What, what, what are you? Are you okay? Um, he is very much concentrating on what's going on. Yeah, whatever. 
But you can do a little stun to hedgehog um, homing attack. Which is very useful, which I actually, I remember during the LP, um, I thought all you had to do was actually just jump, but no, you have to double jump. And we're gonna cheat this, because we actually need a different hat for getting this, but I'm just gonna dive towards it. Oh yeah, <laughs> this game has like a lot of small things. Like, you can sit in like a lot of chairs, oddly enough, in this game. I don't know why, like, even when I was first playing it, I sat in a chair for a good while. I was like, what is the point of this? Really, th there is there is no point. Just, just to sit in it. But let's go back to the objective now. Since we explored a little bit of Mafia Town. Hey, child, shoot! Mafia can't have child weakness when Mafia teaching lesson. <laughs> I just noticed this is best mom on his uh, apron, <laughs> but he crossed it out and put Afia at the end. What do we do with eyewitness? Teach her lesson, boys. I didn't notice that until now. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess since I stopped, it didn't. Is it not gonna do it? Really? I didn't lie to you guys. I know I didn't. When you spam the button. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now we have to jump on them. Which I find actually harder to jump on enemies in this game. Because you are kind of floaty, which is nice, I guess, for platforming, but it's kind of difficult to platform when you're all floaty, when it's like very small platforms are like. Prepare to feel Mafia's wrath. Cool. And what? Okay, where'd you put the mustache, lady? See if girl can handle this. <laughs> Did you like put her in your inventory? Cause my god, you just spun around. She disappeared. Stand still. Nah, dude, I'm good. I'm gonna it's keep doing this. Punk. Man, these are the best bad guys when they actually <laughs> tell you when they're gonna attack. I was kind of avoid the. I was trying to avoid getting hit, but I was getting a little too cocky. Actually, I'm gonna get my sprint hat. Yeah, I use the sprint hat a lot in this game because I just like going fast. Because this game's like this game, which even the um the game and the game developers input this in, in the um, actual game itself, like it very much um, like encourages you to speed run the game from the controls and. Uh, uh, my dude, you just broke the laws of physics, my man. Like, you can't- <laughs> you're supposed to walk on those TNT, but you didn't do that. You, you floated right on top. Either you got no clip, or <laughs> you're hacking, dude. But yeah, like, in the options, um, there's actually like a skip cutscene and like, I think it was like a speedrun timer too, in this game, and in the options. So like, again, this game very much encourages you to speed run, which I like again. Like, I like and hello, what's up, dude? Did you? Oh, okay. You don't. Okay, you don't like me. That's that's cool. And I guess he doesn't care what happened. N nice try, dude. This guy doesn't care that I beat up his friends. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another thing I like when you get a um. Some time pieces do this. Um. They make a cool like orb around the timepiece, but then like when you walk into it. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna be gushing over this entire game. For the entire LP, but I got a second timepiece, and it's about the end of the episode. And uh okay, cutscene. Can you believe them? What a bunch of losers. Yeah, I'm even hey, surprised myself. You were put in that guy's right, inventory. Kid. Where how the heck did you, you get out? <laughs> No? You shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl, I take it. That thing you grabbed there. I just I'm noticed. Them because um, I know where I'm gonna see if it goes to another scene where it shows her face. Not her face, but her hair. She has like freaking Zelda's haircut from um, Skyward Sword. <gasps> yeah, there you go. Look! <laughs> Editor, quote a <laughs> reference picture. Like. They look oddly the same. I don't think Zelda has the weird orbs at the bottom of her hair, but I do know, I think she has like those ribbons, though. Even the same color, maybe. I don't know. 
I haven't really played um, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I've already played like five minutes of the game, and those five minutes consisted of me grabbing the weird cat guy, <laughs> throwing him off the island. <laughs> I'm sure they're like, what's going on here? How are these people getting into our house? No, whatever. Anyways, guys, it's the end of the episode. My god, I still can't speak. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I really hope you enjoyed the LP. Because uh, this game is pretty fun, and I hope you give it a shot. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>